was very surprised. My ass hurts because of how much faster I'm pedaling. And that recovery time was shrunken down to like, I stood up for a second and then it was like, okay, I'm ready to go for what I was able to do and how fast I could climb was otherworldly. It took for me to get to the top. I mean, that's a huge PR. My yeah. legs just didn't need to stop. It's like they had a mind of their own or they were robotic and just machine-like and it was just go, 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 go. Mine is different than I've ever been able to do before. This is just like, why would you go back to black and white TV after having HD 4K? I've never experienced such a significant performance gain as I did with Frank Yosa here, CEO of Ketone Aid, and I've got Austin uh, Einhorn is uh, here with me. He's a trainer to professional and Olympic, and Olympic athletes. Can you give us a little bit of a uh, more background on yourself? Yeah, um, I'm formerly uh, from a volleyball background, um, played professionally for a brief stint, and then really fell in love with uh, making other people better um, or other athletes better and letting them uh, accomplish their dreams. And so I'm a big, uh, you could say, biomechanics focus, and, and I love making myself a guinea pig for all sorts of different um, movements and training philosophies, diets, all sorts of stuff. And so um, I am ketogenic. and have been for about the last year or so. Are um, you a cyclic ketogenic, or are you super strict, no cheat days? Because we, we found that that kind of matters, actually. Yeah, I'm pretty strict. Um, I'll have a cheat day or so every like eight weeks maybe okay maybe a little bit more but um not too often okay and so we sent you the ke4 ketone ester which protocol did you use did you use the glucose load followed by the ketones or did you take just ketones the glucose load followed by the ketones. okay so that's the more reliable protocol um yeah. but we have had a couple of weightlifters that have had success with just uh, just the ketones if they are extremely ketogenic and already have glycogen storage from fat because they're fat adapted. Okay, mm -hmm. so you did the the glucose load. How many of these you know, like goo gel packs did you take? Just one. One. Okay. Um, so then, how how was it? I was very surprised. Um, I've done the ride enough where I kind of know what to expect at each segment, which hill is going to suck the most, when I might need to get off and just walk and hike. And um, it was it was like I, there was a calibration period where I know I'm breathing really hard. I know I should be tired. My ass hurts because of how much faster I'm pedaling and um, my legs just didn't need to stop. You know, every now and then when I normally ride, I'd stand up and coast for a little bit and wait a little while to recover. And that recovery time was shrunken down to like, I stood up for a second and then it was like, okay, I'm ready to go. And so I never really lost any pace or speed, which had some pretty big effects on the climb. And I, I'm really surprised because I'm an aerobically trained athlete. Volleyball is an interval sport. My aerobic endurance is not great and mountain biking is one thing that challenges that and so my capacity uh for what i was able to do and how fast i could climb was otherworldly wow so yeah i just looked it up we sent you 70 grams normally sent normally we send about 60 grams for someone who's around 175 and i have you listed at as 205 so that yeah. was uh large normally we recommend actually a one-to-one -one ratio with the glucose. So that would be about three or four of these gel packs. So you did one. So now that's, you know, new territory. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, know, I didn't works, see you know, stick with it, right? Yeah. I mean, I definitely would love to. Those things are delicious. And with me being keto, I'm very happy to try. <laughs> oh, the, 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 the gel packs are delicious. You're not talking about the, the ketone aid being delicious. Let's, let's talk about that real quick. How did that taste? So um, I saw, I love that you guys put, the flavor schoolyard dirt on there that it's like you guys are owning it like you're not trying to sugarcoat it like oh it's lime but it tastes terrible or, or yeah lime sunset you know tequila or, or or you know hawaiian sunset lime or something yeah and the first instant that i had i'm like oh it's not too bad and then quickly that changed to like 
oh my God, I need to finish this right away. And it now made sense why you said have the cap off of the sparkling water and like in your other I know, pe people don't listen. You just, yeah. you know, oh, it's, a, you know, devil's in the details. You know, why is yeah. he making that? Yes, you have to have the, you have to have the can right next to your lips. Yeah. You know, you take the drink and then you're immediately just a couple sips. One person tried to chug half the can of soda or, or sparkling water and almost, you know, sparkling water everywhere. Did you take it all in one chug or was it? Yeah. You yeah. Did? Okay. Okay. It, like it almost went in slow motion like oh my god this is terrible there's no way i'm doing two of these i want to get it down and then just quickly as quick as i could um had it in my other hand for the sparkling water um and good call in the sparkling water the bubbles helped a lot yeah, it's like this like, like toilet scrubbing commercial that i you know see on tv with just the the, the bubbles just scrub it all down and you know no yeah. aftertaste and good to go yeah um it but was, it was manageable. And you, you would take that on a daily basis if you had the same performance time and time again. Oh, hell yeah. That's, who okay. cares about the flavor? Like, it, it's any, if anything, it's like, okay, it's buy-in. Here's a little bit of a commitment. It's not going to taste great, but it's, it's worth it. And we are working on it. But when we have so few, the flavors are like, oh, send us two, late, two liters to flavor. And we're like, how about if we send you 50 mLs? <laughs> what can you do with that? And they're like, ah. So, you know. It'll be a little bit better. Let's move to your, you have some Strava data, which I was really excited about. And you've done this, yeah. exact, you know, course or whatever you want to call it several times. Is there any percentage numbers that you were better in one area, but not in another and your heart rate? Uh, I improved pretty much everywhere. Um, so the time it took for me to get to the top of this mountain before my descent was six minutes faster. At six, out of how many total minutes? 56 minutes down to 50. Okay. So it's 50 of PR? Yeah. Okay. Well, that's, you know, that's... that's a, I mean, that's a huge PR. Yeah. Um, and my vertical ascent speed improved from about 50, uh, 75 feet per minute to 81 feet per minute. Okay. Um, my EPOC, which is exercise post oxygen consumption, skyrocketed. And I look at it as a sign of like how hard was I able to go. Um, went from 135 to 262. 260, 262, wow. The highest I've ever gotten it before with some interval sprints was 250. And I couldn't, I like couldn't walk right two days after and today i was on that uh field with some of my nfl athletes and juking and running and sprinting with them like i didn't really do much yesterday <laughs> um, so i mean that's one of the benefits that i find with keto is i'm able to have a higher training frequency because right. i have less inflammation higher recovery and then this is just i went really hard yesterday um so one, one person, they used an HRV monitor, and the next day it indicated that they had taken the day off. How, yeah. how did you feel? Was there a transition period where 10 to 15, 20 minutes, you weren't sure if you were kind of going backwards? Or um, any yeah, at first, in the first like 10 to 15 minutes, it was a little, I think, calibration period. We talked that I was like almost hyperventilating. Okay. Um, and but I've got lots of experience with a variety of different breathing techniques. So it's like, cause okay. your legs were going so fast that your mind was saying, Hey, it's going so fast. I, I think I need more air. So it was unnecessarily trying to get more air, but then you were able to relax and meditate into it. Yeah. Yeah. No problem. Um, and so, um, like the first 10 minutes were like, Hmm, I wonder if I took enough sugar. I don't know. And then out of nowhere, like, the clarity was there pretty much immediately, but then it just kicked to another level where my legs just didn't need to stop. It's like they had a mind of their own or like they were under their robotic and just machine like, and it was just go, 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 go. Nice. So, um, you know, I can compare like my heart rate during each moment of a climb on, a, on two different maps and without the ketones because of my past training as a volleyball athlete, I'm, I'm in the yellow, like most of the time, um, meaning, you know, moderately, uh, heart rate is moderately high. And then 
this time I was able to just sustain a really high heart rate and workload for a really long time where the map is then like orange to red most of the climb. Nice, nice. And what was the total length of your workout, including warm-up? Right? Uh, so hour, warm hour and 43 minutes, but okay. I would call the, the descent, the last 15 minutes of the descent, 10 minutes, it's just, I'm cruising. It's just downhill on the street, so. Well, that's the perfect amount of time for the amount that you drank, uh, you know, because you don't want to have it run out 10 minutes before the end. So the, the one hour and 45 minutes is, is really perfect to, to test it on that length. Um, so tell me more about the mental clarity and did you get any of the time dilation or in the zone feeling? Yeah, I mean, I've done um, some research into flow and I, I'm part of the, the flow genome project. So I'm very well aware of what that state is like. And um, it's quite fleeting, I would say a, a true flow state, but this was very close to that where what I experienced once I started going downhill in between trees and I'm on like, you know, a thin trail where if I go one way or another, a tree might take me or there's a cliff on the other side. And um, the ability for me to choose the right lines, like avoiding rocks, right. and how far forward I could look along the line was different than I've ever been able to do before. Normally I'll, I'll like try to make a choice and then I'll miss and I'll hit this rock and it'll stutter me or whatever. And I'm only able to look 20, 15 to 20 feet in front of me. But now I, I found that I was glancing really far in front down and then really far forward and, and having the ability to make choices and plan my line way further in advance. So you're processing, you're processing more information and, you know, at one yeah. time. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, so yes, there was time dilation. Like I'm able to process more stuff in a fixed amount of time. And what about vision, HD vision or color? Any difference in that? Um, no, I mean, I, I feel that I get that already with the keto stuff. Right. Yeah. So, or just being ketogenic. So I'm already kind of there. It didn't enhance yep. the colors or the definition. But I, I would say like if I wasn't keto, that would have been a big component. Right. And I've told people before, if you've got a friend that you've tried to bug them to get and become keto and they can't get over the keto flu or they're just not dedicated enough, just give them one drink, give them a taste of it, you know, have them see what the light is and then, you know, never drink the drink again. Just, just go back to, uh, you know, ketogenic diet and, yeah. you know, have them stick with that, you know? Yeah, exactly. And, um, I mean, it was just, I was, have you tried I, the other ketone salts or? Yeah, I've no, got, um, how does it compare to other supplements you've tried? You're a biohacker. Uh, I mean, compared to Bulletproof coffee, Bulletproof coffee doesn't do anything for me. It's just calories and fat. Um, the keto canna is my favorite um, that I've tried and that's what I have kind of in my cupboard and uh, it's good. The keto canna is like, okay, gives me a little energy. It's going to help my blood a little bit, but this is just like, why would you go back to black and white TV after having HD 4k? It's just like keto canna doesn't, it changes my blood a little bit, but you know, I still need to eat keto to help get there. Right. Um, and, you know, if my ketones are already high, then it'll help me get a little bit further. But I've never experienced such a significant performance gain as I did with the ketone aid, the ketone ester. Um, normally, I use the keto canna just like, okay, I want to change my blood chemistry a little bit. And right. not I'm exhausted, but I want to work out. So the different athletes that you work with, tennis, volleyball, you know, what do you think this would do for those athletes in that sport other than, you know, cycling? Um, endurance. I mean, they're interval sports, but they're interval with a moderate aerobic capacity. And so if they can continue to sprint after balls um, or jump as high as they can uh, while still at a higher aerobic capacity, I think it would be – hugely beneficial and then they both play tournaments like where they're playing day after day I mean, after that's day. a whole a whole recovery thing in and of itself yeah exactly and so like regardless of the performance gains you would get from the ketone ester just the recovery alone is like so say you play 
you play normal. You don't get any performance benefits, but if you recover faster, I mean, at this level, everyone's working their ass off. Everyone's working harder. The game is more about recovery. What can you do to recover more than the other person? What can you do to recover better in between points? What can you do to recover in between games and in between days? Well, I'm dying to get this in the hands of someone who plays tennis because just the thought of that 100 mile per hour tennis ball being even five miles per hour slower, you know, you, you could just, I would hope that they might be able to just clean up. Yeah, I've, I've got a, a guy that I think would be um, a really good guy to, to test this on. And do you work with any golfers? I do. Because we had, I don't know if you saw the video, we had one golfer who's keto. He actually took a third of the drink that we told him to take. And he said that you know, he's on the old, older side, but his putting game just came back. He hadn't had it for like 10 years. Hmm. He was, you know, seeing lines and. I'd love to introduce you guys uh, and, and see what, what the product can do for them. All right. Well, I think that's pretty much it. Anything else? Uh, I like to ask at the end. You know, there's so much noise out there and there's, you know, now 20, 30 products selling something ketone related. Would you say that this is the real deal? Yeah, I mean, it's undeniable. It, it, it's a lot of times what it's similar to some of the movements that I do with my athletes where you look at it, you think you, you know what you're talking about or what you might get, but it's, you don't know until you try it. And if anybody's watching this, like, and you're thinking about it, you don't even know until you try it. You have to try it. And then I would say, like, it's just, it's a dumb decision not to get some of this stuff. All right. Well, thank you very much. Yeah, no problem. Thank you. Bye-bye.